Hello everyone, welcome to this series on cultural studies and in this video we are going to discuss the term archetype. Introduction The term archetype is fundamental to Jungian psychology originating from the Greek words archi, primal and typos, imprint, stamp or pattern. Archetypes represent the tendency to experience life in ways shaped by the collective past of humankind. Carl Jung described archetypes as the a priori inborn forms of intuition that exist in the unconscious and manifest under specific circumstances, affecting individuals differently depending on their life situations. This video will delve into the definition, categories and impact of archetypes emphasizing their role in personal transformation and collective unconscious. Defining Archetypes Archetypes are unconscious and exist in potential form, requiring external circumstances to become active. They can be thought of as a priori anthropology, cultural categories of possible functioning. Archetypes influence both emotions and images, often appearing in dreams and becoming particularly evident during significant life milestones such as birth, death, adolescence and moments of extreme danger or awe. Carl Jung emphasized that archetypes are not directly accessible or visible. Instead, they manifest through patterns of behavior, symbols and motives that recur across different cultures and epochs. These archetypal images and narratives are seen in myths, legends, dreams and art reflecting the shared heritage of human experience. Categories of Archetypes Jung identified two broad categories of archetypes, personifying and transforming archetypes. Personifying Archetypes Personifying archetypes take on human-like identities within the psyche. These archetypes shape interpersonal interactions and relationships between the sexes. Key examples include Anima and Animus. The Anima represents all of a man's ancestral experiences with women, while the Animus embodies all of a woman's ancestral experiences with men. The Anima and Animus influence one's interactions with the opposite sex and contributes to one's inner psychological life. The anima in a man is often personified as a feminine figure in his dreams, while the animus in a woman appears as a male figure. These archetypes guide individuals in understanding and integrating the opposite gender within themselves, leading to a more balanced and harmonious psyche. The shadow, representing the darker, Often hidden aspects of the psyche, the shadow encompasses the parts of ourselves we reject or are unaware of. Confronting and integrating the shadow is crucial for personal growth and self-awareness. It often appears in dreams as threatening figures or situations, urging the dreamer to acknowledge and integrate these repressed aspects. The Self the archetype of wholeness and integration, the self represents the realization of the full potential of the individual. It is often symbolized by figures like the wise old man or woman guiding individuals toward achieving balance and harmony within themselves. Transforming Archetypes Transforming archetypes are not necessarily personalities but include typical situations geometric figures, places and other elements that facilitate personal growth and transformation. These archetypes play a significant role in the process of individuation where individuals strive for self-realization and wholeness. Two main transforming archetypes discussed by Jung are the mandala and quaternity. Mandala Derived from the Sanskrit word meaning magic circle, the mandala includes all concentrically arranged figures, radial or spherical arrangements and circles or squares with a central point. Common symbols include wheels, eyes, 
flowers, the sun, stars and snakes holding their tails. The mandala represents the totality of the self and the universe, symbolizing unity, harmony and completeness. Jung observed that mandala symbols often appeared in the dreams and artwork of individuals undergoing psychological transformation, reflecting their journey towards self-integration and wholeness. Quaternity This archetype involves geometric figures divisible by four, having four sides or four directions. Quaternity symbols often intersect with mandala symbols such as in flowers, petals focusing on the pistol, and wheels, spokes focusing on the hub, with the cross being a frequent symbol representing the union of a four-sided structure. The quaternity represents stability, balance, and the integration of opposites. It often symbolizes the reconciliation of conflicting elements within the psyche, leading to a more balanced and harmonious self. Impact and Function of Archetypes Archetypes significantly impact personal experiences, often manifesting as complexes of experience that seem to come upon individuals like fate. Jung emphasized that archetypes cannot simply be learned as a list. They are deeply felt in personal life and influence the psyche profoundly. Archetypes shape the way individuals perceive and respond to the world, influencing thoughts, emotions and behaviors. They provide a framework for understanding the universal aspects of human experience, linking the individual to the collective unconscious. Archetypes are experienced both emotionally and imaginally, often surfacing in dreams, fantasies and significant life events. They serve as a bridge between the conscious and unconscious mind facilitating psychological growth and transformation. By engaging with archetypal images and narratives, individuals can gain insights into their inner worlds, uncover hidden aspects of themselves, and navigate the challenges and transitions of life with greater awareness and resilience. Conclusion Archetypes are a foundational concept in Jungian psychology reflecting deep-seated, collective patterns of human experience. They manifest in various forms, shaping emotions, images, and significant life events. Understanding archetypes offer valuable insights into the shared aspects of human psychology and the unique ways individuals experience and interpret their lives. By exploring and integrating archetypal themes, Individuals can achieve a greater sense of wholeness and self-understanding, contributing to their overall psychological well-being. So this was the discussion on the term archetype. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other term. Until then, goodbye and thank you.